Hello everyone. Well, we have started our new topic, all about the seaside. And this week we're going to think about some of the animals that live under the sea. And this video is called, What can we see under the sea? What animals live in the sea? I wonder can you think of any animals that live in the sea? Tell whoever's with you what animals live in the sea. I'm sure you thought of lots of animals that live in the sea. Maybe you thought of a fish. There are lots of different types of fish that live in the sea. Maybe you thought of a starfish. Maybe you thought of a sea turtle. Maybe you thought of some dolphins. I wonder what your favourite animal is. Maybe your favourite animal is one of these animals that live under the sea. Now, we're going to play a game. And this game is called, What Am I Looking At? And in a minute, the little picture is going to move all over the screen and show you a little tiny bit of an animal that lives under the sea. I wonder will any very clever boys and girls be able to tell what animal this is? Let's have a go. Did you see it? What animal do you think that might be? I'll give you a little clue. This animal is in some Disney movies and they're some of my favourite movies. Do you know what it is? It's a clownfish. Well done if you got that right. And if you've seen Finding Nemo or Finding Dory, you'll know lots about clownfish because Marlin and Nemo are both clownfish. And clownfish are known as anemone fish because they live inside anemones in the sea. I wonder will you be able to tell what we're looking at this time? I think this is a much trickier one. Do you know what it is? Let's find out. Well done if you got that one right because that was really, really tricky. This is a hermit crab. And hermit crabs live inside shells. And they have to change their shell as they get bigger. They climb out of the shell that they're in and they go into a bigger shell. And that's how hermit crabs grow up and get bigger. But sometimes they fight with other hermit crabs to get a better shell than them. I wonder what this is. Were you able to tell what it was? It was a jellyfish. Well done if you got that right. Jellyfish are really interesting because they can clone themselves. And that means if a jellyfish gets cut into two pieces, the two pieces of that jellyfish turn into two new jellyfish. Isn't that amazing? One jellyfish gets cut in half and turns into two jellyfish. Wow, I think that's a really cool fact. What about this one? If you look in the picture now, you might see some little suckers and that might give you a clue already as to what this animal is. It looks like that animal has lots of legs. Can you guess what it is? It's an octopus. Well done if you got that right. And an octopus has eight tentacles. And if you look at its tentacles, you'll see those circles. And those circles are its suckers. And it uses its suckers to hold on to things, maybe rocks as it's moving along in the sea. Or it uses it to hold on to things that it's going to eat. And then that little bit right in the middle is its mouth. And that's where it eats. 
octopuses octopus are really, really soft and squidgy. The only hard thing in their whole body is their beak. That's right, they have beaks just like birds. It looks a bit like a parrot's beak and we can't see it in this picture right now. But they use their beaks for eating. Okay, are we ready for the next one? I wonder, do you know what that is? Now, this is one of my favourite sea animals. Do you know what it is? It's a seahorse. And a really interesting fact about seahorses is that the daddy seahorses look after the babies. They have the baby seahorses in their tummies instead of the mummies. Isn't that cool? Okay, let's have one more. What do you think that might be? Did you see it's big thin at the top? I think this might be a scary sea animal. What do you think? It's a shark. Sharks are definitely a bit scary. And shark skin has very, very tiny, hard, little things all over it. And they're shaped a bit like teeth. And that's their scales. And it means that the shark's skin is really tough. And if you touched it, it would feel a bit like sandpaper. But I don't think I would touch a shark just to check. Would you? Okay. Now, we've had a look at some animals that live in the sea. And I know you know lots and lots already about some animals that live in the sea. So we're going to play a game with whoever is with you watching this video. And this game is called Odd One Out. So there are four different animals on the screen. Three of these animals live in the sea, but one doesn't. It's the Odd One Out. I'm sure you've spotted it already. We've got a seahorse, a shark, a jellyfish, and a seagull. Can you point to the odd one out? What animal doesn't live in the sea? Well done if you pointed to the seagull. It definitely doesn't live in the sea. Let's have another turn. Can you spot the odd one out? We've got an octopus, a fish, a krill and a spider. Which one is the odd one out? Which one doesn't live in the sea? Well done if you pointed to the spider. You're right, it doesn't belong in the sea. Now, I have a project for you if you would like to do this. You don't have to, but if you would like to, I want you to choose an animal that lives in the sea. You could choose one from this video, or you could choose an animal all by yourself. Can you find three interesting facts about the animal that you have chosen? If you find some interesting facts, could you send me them on Seesaw? I would love to see what you have found out. Maybe you could make a poster. Maybe you could make a video telling me the three interesting facts. It's completely up to you. But I hope you have lots of fun investigating and researching some more animals that live in the sea. See you all soon. Bye.